Kate Middleton pregnant, Duchess pregnancy announcement out of Clarence House's hands. Last month, Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooks Spank announced they were expecting their first child together, who will join the Windsor Fold early next year. The statement sparked a wave of public excitement as it had long been speculated that the couple would soon confirm they would become the next royal family parents. But previously, the royal family appeared to have no control of the announcement of Kate and Prince William's first child, as the now 38-year-old was hospitalized with hyperemesis gravidarum, or acute nausea. At the time, a palace source revealed that the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were forced to go public with the announcement after Kate spent a few days in King Edward VII Hospital in London. The announcement came moments before the Duchess' stay in hospital was confirmed with Clarence House adding that she would be in for several days before requiring a period of rest. But Ingrid Seward, editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine, explained the royal family would have preferred to have waited as Kate at the time was less than two and a half months pregnant. She told Good Morning America, well they didn't want to let it out because she's still probably about the 10-week mark but they knew that once Kate was seen going into the hospital that it was going to be out of their hands and then the media would have control of the announcement. A spokesman from St. James's Palace said Kate was continuing to feel better as she received treatment in hospital. He added, she and the Duke are immensely grateful for the good wishes they have received. She will remain in hospital at present and will continue to be treated for hyperemesis gravidarum. Reports from 2012 suggest that Kate and William were with her parents in Buckleberry when she began feeling the severe morning sickness symptoms. A report by ABC explained that William sprung into action and drove his wife along with their personal security team 50 miles in their Range Rover to the hospital where Kate was placed on an forger. It added, the royal family was only notified of Kate's pregnancy mere hours before the rest of the world. Kate would eventually give birth to George in 2013, before welcoming Princess Charlotte and Princess Louis to the Cambridge Fold. But in a surprise move, which also showed William's dedication to Kate, the couple were expected to rock royal traditions, with the Duke of Cambridge said to be by his wife's side as she gave birth. Speaking before George's birth, Royal historian Robert Lacey said, When Charles was born, Prince Philip played squash here at the palace. When Prince William was born, Prince Charles went off and played polo. I think we're getting to see the first royal birth where the father himself is present at the birth and sees his new child come into the world. Mr. Lacey also exposed a key way William would be different to his father Prince Charles, and grandfather Prince Philip, with regards to supporting Kate through her pregnancy. He added, I think we will see a very ordinary pregnancy, a very open pregnancy. Already the details of what's happening to Kate are not being hidden as would have been the case in the past. And we're seeing the concern of a very modern husband going to see her in the hospital every day.